Hello friends, specifications for design of flexible payment suggest use of GSP layer or CT, CTSP layer. Two types of materials are specified. Either you can use a layer of granular subbase or it can be cementated subbase. Now many times our engineers are confronted with the question that what is the difference between these two layers? GSB and CTSB and what are the situations where CTSB is preferred and what are the situations where GSB is preferred. In this brief session, I shall try to answer these questions. First, what is GSB? It is a layer of natural sand, murum, gravel, crushed stone, river bed material or combination of these. These materials or these aggregates should meet the specifications of grading and physical requirement as per table 400.1 of MRTH specifications. The CTSB layer is material is same as in the case of GSB but grading is different and here we add some amount of cementitious material. Although this layer is called CTSB but here it is not necessary that you add cement. You can add lime also, lime flyers also, even commercially available stabilizers can also be used to prepare this layer. But cement is most preferred and therefore this layer is called CTSB or cement treated subbase. The minimum layer thickness in the case of GSP is specified as 150 millimeter, but preferred is 100 millimeter plus 100 millimeter so that you have both filter and drainage function. And in the case of CTSB, it is 200 millimeter. Let us now understand the difference between these two layers. And the first is the material characteristics. The material characteristics can be understood from this table. The first parameter is the aggregate. In the case of GSB, it can be either natural aggregate or crushed aggregates. But in the case of CTSB, crushed aggregates are preferred. Although IS 37 says that all materials that can be used for GSB can be used in the case of CTSB also, but crushed aggregate plus cement is preferred in the case of CTB layer, CTSB layer. Second is binder. There is no binder required in the case of GSB, whereas in the case of CTSB, we use 2 to 4 percent of cement. Particle interlocking in the case of GSB is quite moderate. And because it comes through the particle shape and the number of faces which are crushed and because of this reason RBM or reward bed material is not preferred but reward bed material can be used if it has crushed faces also. In the case of CTSP the particle interlocking is quite high because of cementation. Probability in the case of GSP is high because of high wires and it is low in the case of CTSP. And for that reason, this material is preferred when water table is high. Design of mix in the case of GSB is based on the grading plus proctor test to find out the optimum moisture content and the maximum dry density. Whereas in case of CTSB, it is typically the grading and the cement content. We carry out OMC and maximum dry density test also here. But the final mix design is based on the unconfined compressive strength of the CTSB material, which is in the range of 1.5 to 3 MPa as per IS37. So that is the material difference between the two layers. So we can say that in terms of material, CTSB is better or superior to GSB. Now the second is the structural difference. In the case of a GSB, the load distribution is moderate. Moderate in the sense that it does not disperse the load over a large area and therefore the stress is coming on the subgrade is large, is high as compared to CTSB. A, a CTSB layer is more effective at load distribution than a standard GSB layer because cement stabilization creates a stiff structure that spreads the load over a much larger area. Then second is structural contribution to the payment. The GSB contributes very little, very limited contribution of GSB layer. 
in the structural capacity of the pavement whereas in case of CTSB it is quite significant. Pavement stiffness in the case of GSB is low to medium whereas it is high and it this CTSB layer acts as a semi rigid or semi flexible layer. As construction and the cost the construction of GSB layer is quite easy but in the case of CTSB you require better quality control and also we need curing time of 3 to 7 days before putting the next layer. Cost naturally of the GSB is low and it is high in the case of CTSB because of adding the cementitious material or the cement. Next comparison can be of structural parameters. In the case of GSB, we generally consider CBR value and what MORTH specification suggests that CBR of the GSB layer should be 20 to 30 percent. Whereas in case of CTSB because it is semi rigid material, CBR can be even more than 100 percent and therefore CBR is not a consideration. In the case of CTSB, UC UCS is the criteria, is the consideration. And what IRC suggests that 7 days UCS of CTSB material should be 1.5 to 3 MPa. Present modulus is low in the case of GSB because there is no adhesion, there is no cohesion between the aggregates and it is high in case of CTSB layer. And I can explain this point again by taking one example, say you take the example of a soil subgrade where CBR is 10 percent and let us say the thickness of the GSB layer is 200 millimeter. Then the MR value of granular layer is calculated using this equation H.45 into MR of support. Now MR support here is MR value of subgrade soil. And for a CBR of 10 percent, the MR value of subgrade soil will be 76.8. You can use that equation given as 37 to calculate MR value of subgrade. H is 200 millimeter, MR support is 76.8 and this value will be around 167 MPa. That is a typical value typical value of MR for GSB layer. Whereas in the case of CTSB, the lab value of MR can be something between 2000 to 6000 MPa. But what IRC code suggests that you take MR value of CTSB layer as 400 MPa. Higher the value of MPa, more will be the benefit in the design. You can reduce the thickness of the upper layers. That is the difference, the structural difference between the two layers. Mu value, mu value in case of GSB we consider 0.35 whereas it is 0.25 in case of CTSB layer. That also has some effect on the stress and strain. Now once you understand the physical and structural difference between the two layers, the next question comes where to use these layers, where to use GSB layer and where to use CTSB layer and that you can take some example, let us say low volume roads. In case of low volume roads where traffic is low, GSB is a suitable layer and CTSB will be unnecessarily expensive and therefore that is not preferred. But in the case of high volume roads like highways and expressways, GSB is not suitable. Here CTSB is an invariably used because it provides rigidity in the layer. When you have a weak subgrade, when CBR value of subgrade is low, then GSB has very limited benefit. Whereas CTSB is very effective in such a situation, very effective. And in the case of urban arterial roads also, GSB sometimes is not considered suitable, but CTSB is preferred. And finally, the cost 
cost of construction when the cost is the primary concern then you go for GSP but when the integrity of the payment is, con is a major cons consideration then you go for CTSP. When you expect very high life expectancy of the payment then CTSB should be preferred. So finally GSP has three advantages. It has it is easy to construct, it has good drainage and low cost but there are two major limitations of this layer. Low structural strength and higher layer thickness whereas in the case of CTSB CTSB has high strength and stiffness, it will have reduced total payment thickness and better performance under heavy traffic. The limitation of CTSB is that it requires skilled construction, the cost is slightly high, it requires curing time in the field 3 to 7 days before putting another layer and there may be some risk of cracking if cement quantity is high. So that is the difference, basic difference between GSB and CTSB and the situations where these layers are preferred. Thank you for watching. If you like it, you can share it with your friends and colleagues.